So there is the marvellous and evanescent Kylie Minogue, and that's called Wow. Uh, Eight sixteen. My guest this morning is James McKinnery. He's uh, he's thirty years old, but he passed, passed for a man much younger. And um, <laughs> James is really into photography and poetry and lots of other stuff as well. And things are really beginning to happen for James as well now because he's just been featured in our magazine and also Pick Me Up magazine, uh, the latest edition. And there's news of uh, a competition here. So just tell me a little more. Yeah, um, I don't know the ins and outs, but at the moment uh, the magazine's out. I think sometime this month uh-huh. um, and basically they're running a competition and basically the winner I'll be writing the winner a poem brilliant so there's no pressure on me then wow <laughs> no, you bet crikey and and I suppose when you do have to be pressurised into do, doing something that's it's quite good to have a deadline sometimes isn't it yeah I mean I find if I, I write every day and if I stop yeah. Um, then I find it hard to get back into it, so I write every day. Just keep doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. And what do you write about? It's sort of anything. Anything. It depends on the music I listen to. So yeah. it varies. So I, I could never sit down and write something about something specifically. It just the music comes on, pen and paper out, <laughs> and I just start writing. So it's an amazing thing. Mm. Oh, nice one. And tell us about the photography as well, because um, you've brought in some of your photos here, and I know this isn't TV. I know this is radio, <laughs> but we are able to paint a few pictures um, in the mind, and uh, mostly black and white. A lot of them. But I love black and white. Isn't yeah. it great? There's something special almost surreal do you think yeah i love black and white you know the, the nice neat edges and you know i mean i love color color is right in its place but black and white stands out to me i love it um i so, say and i only take pictures of things like that um but also of people and if you look at the, the back pictures the mm. um of the people i've got a special technique yeah. where it's really white in the background i like it yeah. yeah yeah i mean almost washed out faces yeah but that's almost doll like how it comes out when i take it that is that's brilliant yeah excellent so what is it about the photographer that gets to you so much i love i love taking a picture um of something even something simple and and looking at it and thinking wow you know yeah. it's lovely um and just something like that that one there and and a lot of emotion in that picture and you know and you look at it and you think wow and Everybody on who look at them on Facebook just love them. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm trying to paint a picture here, but it's a black and white photo of a fella wearing a waistcoat, and <laughs> it's, it's, it's the look. It's the look on the face, isn't it? Yeah, that's, and that's what that you kind look, of like the poetry comes into it there. You see, yeah, <clears throat> they're kind of mixed. And that's that, right. And that looks lovely. Yeah, it does. There's something very special. I tell you what, it's like the Mona Lisa. It's <laughs> it's so special because it's a hint of a smile, isn't it? Yeah, she's just beginning to smile, and the thought is, you know. Will it break into a really big smile? And what made us smile? You know, it's just an amazing I like thing. A picture you can look at and then look at it again. And think, yeah. Wow. Wow. You know? Very, very special. Excellent. So, talk to me about the technology. I mean, you've talked about Facebook and all that sort of stuff. How oh, big? How big has that become for you now? Massive. Um, everyone from all over the world, obviously, um, have logged onto my group. Yeah. Um, and everyone just lovely comments, t- loads of support. I've been writing poems to different people who've asked for them. Right. A lady in Bethlehem. Wow. Yeah, and she actually, I wrote a poem for her, and she actually emailed Oprah. Really? <laughs> yeah, and left messages on her website, so you never know. But people really love my poetry, and uh, people who have written poems have come and said, wow, I write poetry, but this is different to what I've heard. So sure. Okay. It's, it's gone crazy in YouTube as well. We better hear one, haven't we? Yes. <clears throat> that means I've got to read one. You have. <laughs> you have. I mean, do you like reading your own poetry? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I get people to do voiceovers for okay. me. Okay. Well, g- give this one a go. Tell me, tell me about this one. <clears throat> this one is called Keeper. Okay. Um, and again, I say it's nothing complicated and it just sticks, you know. So, go for Keeper. it. Keeper. I carry your love in my pocket. I've done it all my life. So scared that I could lose it. I've always held it tight. Sometimes I often wonder, although it hurt to even know, 
would it find another pocket if I ever let it go? Very thought-provoking. Yes. And to the point, too. Yes, I mean, yeah, it's not overcomplicated. Yeah. You know, and it just... And people can relate to them. And I've had people say on Facebook come back and they've lost people, mm. you know, and they've said, wow, I can relate to that. Or you're reading my mind. You sure. Know? Wow. So, and that for me is enough in itself. Yeah. You're hitting a nerve. You're hitting a, like, <clears throat> striking People, gold. I mean, the Facebook group has got so many poems in there, almost 100, written by me. Um, and people just go down the list, read them, and they're like, wow. Mm. You know, and they can relate to them in some, some way or another. Okay. Uh, different people, different poems. Excellent. Do us another one, would you? Cause I'll okay, say, oh, I'm on the spot now. Moments. Right. <clears throat> this is I Met an Angel, and this is written actually for my wife, Terry, who I know is going to be listening. Oh, bless her. Yes. Um, I met an angel once, and it shared with me the world. I learned about forgiveness as it taught me how to love. Its wings were not of feathers, nor covered all in gold. But when it spoke, I heard your voice, and I knew that I was home. I met an angel once, and it whispered in my ear. As it held me tight, I closed my eyes and it wiped away my tears, for I never knew what love was like till an angel came to me. Nice, excellent. I bet there'll be a tear in the eye at the other end. Yeah, there's diff- there is different types of poems. I mean, there, there's those, and there's a few, quite a few hard-hitting ones. Yeah. So I've got all different varieties. Fantastic. Of poems. Well, how can people find out more? Right, Facebook. Um, if you like, if you, I mean, everyone's got a Facebook account nowadays. Everyone. You meet someone, are you on Facebook? Are you on Facebook? <laughs> so, um, Facebook, um, the group is James McInerney. I need to spell that one probably. Yeah, go on. M C I N E R N E Y Appreciation Society. Great, fantastic. Yeah. Well, look, keep, keep doing it and good luck for you too. Can I give my email address? Do it. Um, born to be a poet at hotmail.co.uk. Okay, what's your advice finally to anybody that wants to do something <coughs> that you've done? Because everybody sometimes, you know, feels the need to express themselves. Um, keep writing every day. Um, don't think that what you've written is not exactly that good because other people will like it. And say, keep writing, writing, build up a bank of works and get out there and like I'm doing. Go for it. Yes, definitely. Never say no. Great. James, it's good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good luck. Uh, 822.